Good evening, church. How's everyone doing tonight? It's great to see you all guys here. All right, so let's talk evangelism. I want to quickly share one of the things that happens when you go out and evangelize to people, which I like to call the domino effect. And if you want to get like a visual picture, um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it or, or have done it before. We put all the dominoes lined up together, and you hit the first one, you make impact with the first one, and when you make impact with the first one, it makes impact with all the rest, right? Um, and that kind of happens when, when you go out and evangelize to people. As many of you guys know, I didn't come from a Christian background or a Christian family. So the first time that I told my parents that I came to a new church, they suggested that I wouldn't go back because it was something different than what they raised me with. But then not knowing at the moment that I had found the answers to my problems, I kept coming back, and then I decided to get baptized. And I remember the, the time that I went home and told my parents, uh, my mom was in the kitchen cooking over the stove, and I was like, Mom, I'm getting baptized. <laughs> What'd you say? You getting baptized? What are you talking about? Oh, no, ma, está loco. Watch it, watch it. I'm getting baptized. Nombre. And I was like, and she's like, what do you mean? What are you getting baptized? And I was like, I know, I understand, mom, what you told me the other time. But look, this, this and this is why I'm getting baptized. And I know you guys are my parents. I love you guys. I honor you guys. But with all due respect, I'm going to disobey this time, which wasn't the first time I disobeyed. <laughs> but, but yeah, I still went and got baptized. And after that, a few months later, I believe that not only did they start seeing my commitment and consistency coming to church, but they start seeing my positive changes in my personal life. So then they told me, they're like, all right, Luis, even though you go to a different church than what the one we raised you with, um, we want you to get closer to God, and we're seeing that you're doing that, and we're going to support your decision 100%. So, so after that, I mean, at that time, I couldn't, I couldn't contain sharing what God was doing in my life. I mean, I was telling everyone, inviting everyone to church. And the other time I was, the other day I was thinking, I was like, how many people have came to, how many people have gotten saved because I've invited them to church? I mean, it's been from friends, siblings, coworkers, coworkers, friends, um, even strangers that I met right at the moment. And even most recently, about two months ago, my mom that at first said not to get baptized and suggested not to come back to the church, came as a guest and surrendered and gave a life to Jesus Christ. Yeah. And all that started first because I made the decision to follow Jesus. But actually, there was a decision made before mine by someone else. A decision made by someone else to come and evangelize to me and invite me to church. And, and I believe that a lot of us are here tonight because of that same reason. Because someone else invited us to church. Someone stepped out of their comfort zone and either witnessed to you, shared a testimony, or just simply invited you to church. And I don't know about you guys, but I've thought about this a couple times. Where would I be right now? Where would my life be if I didn't meet David at the gym and he'd invite me to, to church? And, and it wasn't like I, I woke up one morning and I was like, all right, Jesus, I'm tired of this life. I'm tired of this route. I think it's time for me to follow you now. I think it's time for me to read the Bible and start praying. It wasn't like that at all. And neither did David, David didn't know the outcome of that conversation when he witnessed to me. He didn't see me at the gym and I was like, Oh, it looks like this guy has potential right here. I think he would be a good asset for our church and be a great evangelist. He didn't know where that seed was going to go that he planted in my heart. And let me tell you, that's one of the best feelings you could get. When you see someone getting saved and give their life to Jesus Christ because you invited them to church. But you won't know that feeling if you don't go out there and evangelize. If you don't go out there and step out of your comfort zone. And I understand that we're all different. And it won't be easy at the first time. But just, if you get a little scared or nervous, just remember that someone stepped out of the comfort zone for you. So let's go out and step out of our comfort zone and save souls for the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen. Amen.